So again, if you're going to deposit more than $1,000 worth of funds onto your Nexo account, you will be eligible for a $100 signup bonus in Bitcoin. So make sure to use the first link in the description, which will take you to this page right here. If you're going to deposit less than $1,000 worth of funds onto your account, make sure to use the second link in the description, which will take you to a different referral program, the one right here where you can get a $25 signup bonus if you deposit more than $100 worth of funds onto your Nexo account. So whatever page you're on, make sure to click on the green button right here and then let's get started signing up for the account. So here, just type in your email address, decide on a password and then click on create account. And now before we can do anything here on Nexo, we need to go through the identity verification. So to do that, we're going to go to the top right, click on the account icon, and then we're going to go to my profile. So here we simply click on start verification. And then you simply want to go through this process. What you're going to need is some kind of ID document or a passport. So you can actually verify all the information that you type in here. The verification is going to be done in two parts where in the first part, you're simply going to add your personal information and add a phone number. And then in the second part, you're going to need to verify that information with your passport or ID document. And you're also going to need some kind of camera where you can basically take a selfie of yourself so that they can compare your ID document with your actual face. Then once all the verification steps are completed, you should see a check mark on uh, the verification of your email, your personal info, and also the identity verification. So now we also want to go over some of the security settings to make sure our account is as secure as possible. So we're going to go to the top right, click on our account icon again, and now we're going to click on security. So first we're going to look at the two factor authentication, which is basically a way to secure your account with not only a password, but also a one-time password that is generated through an application or also through text message. So let's click on two FA settings and then click on alternative authentication methods. So here you can see we have basically two ways how you can set up two factor authentication. By default, I think it's set up using SMS authentication. So you would simply get the one time password through text message. And then you also have the ability to set up Google Authenticator or Authy uh, for two factor authentication, which is what I actually recommend because it's a lot more secure. Personally, I use Authy. So what you got to do is simply click on enable right here. And then you want to scan in the QR code using either the Google Authenticator app or the Authy app. And then you got to type in the one time code. And that's all you got to do to set up one of these applications. I've already set it up on my account, which is why I cannot set it up again. So let's go back to the security settings. And another security feature that we could activate is the address book. So when we click on address book right here, what we can do is we can add specific withdrawal addresses for our assets. So for example, we can click on add new address and then we can choose, let's say Bitcoin. And then we can type in our Bitcoin address right here. The reason that is more secure is because if your account would get hacked, then the hacker could only withdraw funds to that specific address that you have added to your address book. The only way he could steal your funds is if you would add a new address to the address book. But in order to add a new address, he's going to have to wait for a certain amount of time that you can define until that address will become active. And that will give you enough time to contact Nexo and tell them that you have been hacked and that they should freeze your account. All right, so let's go back to our account page by going to the top left and clicking on account. And that will basically take us back to our account page, which is the page that we're going to see every time we log into our Nexo account. So now let me give you a quick overview of what everything means here on Nexo and how to navigate through the platform. So here in the top on the account page, we can see some promotions that Nexo is currently doing. And then on the next line, there's going to be an overview of the status of your Nexo account. So here on my account, you can see that I have currently a portfolio balance of around $6,000. Most of it I hold in Bitcoin to earn me interest. Then on the next 
part here, you can see the credit line. So the credit line is basically how much money you would be able to take out as a loan with the assets that you're currently holding. So what I could do is I could post my Bitcoin as collateral and then I could take out uh, about $3,000 worth of stable coins or just fiat currency. And because I have already taken out a small loan to just try it out, my available credit is a bit lower than my entire credit line. Then you can also see the interest earned. This is basically all the interest uh, combined that I've currently earned here on my Nexo account for holding my cryptocurrency here on Nexo. It's only like $9.50 because I'm not uh, holding that much crypto on Nexo for a long time yet, but I'm earning around 70 cents uh, or so per day for holding my $6,000 uh, in Bitcoin. Then you can also see the loyalty level. This is basically defined by how many Nexo tokens you're holding on your Nexo account. Uh, I'm gonna get more into this later in the video. And basically the higher loyalty level you have, the, the more benefits you get, like higher interest rates, lower rates for borrowing money and so on. Then when we scroll down, we can see some buttons where we can borrow money, we can repay our loans and we can also use the Nexo exchange. And then when we scroll further down, we can see all the assets that we can deposit onto Nexo and how much interest we can earn by having those assets sitting in the savings account. I'm going to get more into how to deposit, how to withdraw and how to increase the interest rate here on Nexo later in the video. What I usually do is I click this hide zero balance assets button so I can only see the assets that I have currently in my Nexo account. So then uh, on the bottom, we can also see the entire value of all the assets combined that we have in our Nexo account. And then all the way on the bottom, we have a way how we can promote Nexo to our friends. And by doing that, we can also earn some money. Then let's move on to the next page, which is the transactions page right here. This is where you can see an overview of all the transactions happening in your Nexo account. So whenever you have an interest payment, whenever you take out a loan or whenever you deposit or withdraw funds to or from your Nexo account, you're going to see all that in here in the transactions page. Then we also have the exchange page. Uh, we're going to get into this later in the tutorial. This is basically where you can buy crypto, sell crypto and also swap different cryptocurrencies against each other. Then we also have the vote feature that actually isn't available yet. So we're going to see what that is in the future. And that's already all the main pages here on Nexo. So as you can see, it's very simple to navigate.